Chemical reactions in aqueous solutions are among the most important classes of chemical reactions. They include precipitation reactions, acid-base reactions, and redox reactions, all of which we consider in this video and in more detail in subsequent videos. Reactions in aqueous solutions are responsible for the chemistry of life. Most of the metabolic and biochemical processes that take place in our body and in other animals and in plants are carried out in aqueous solutions. Chemical reactions in aqueous solutions are also responsible for most of the chemical processes that take place in the environment, particularly in the aquatic environment or wherever any water is present, including the geosphere, the biosphere and even the atmosphere. And chemical reactions in aqueous solutions are also amongst the most important processes that take place in industrial applications. We saw previously that displacement reactions, where there is an exchange of parts between reactants, were among the most prevalent reactions that take place in aqueous solutions, whether they be single displacement reactions or double displacement metathesis reactions. For the single displacement reactions, we saw that one element reactant A effectively displaces a part of another reactant B to produce a compound AC whilst also liberating the element B. For the double displacement reaction, we saw that one part of a reactant A displaces part of another reactant C to produce the compound AD, while at the same time, another part of a reactant B displaces the second part of a reactant D to produce the compound CB. And we've also noted that these general types of displacement reactions are responsible for precipitation reactions, acid-base reactions, and redox reactions. If we start with single displacement reactions, we can show a couple of examples, starting with this reaction here, where we have elemental zinc reacting with copper sulfate solution to produce an aqueous solution of zinc sulfate and elemental copper. What happens here is the zinc effectively displaces the copper from the copper sulfate solution, producing zinc sulfate and metallic or elemental copper which deposits onto the surface of the zinc as evidenced by the characteristic copper colour in this image. Later on, we shall see that this type of reaction can be readily identified as a redox reaction, where one substance undergoes oxidation by losing electrons and another substance undergoes reduction by gaining electrons. Another example of a single displacement reaction involves the reaction between an acid and a reactive metal to produce hydrogen gas bubbles. In this case, we have zinc metal reacting with sulfuric acid to produce a zinc sulfate solution and elemental hydrogen, which is released as a gas in solution. Here, the zinc effectively displaces the two hydrogen atoms to form the zinc sulfate solution, while the hydrogen ions from the acid are chemically transformed into elemental hydrogen gas. This type of general reaction of an acid plus a reactive metal will always produce a salt of some type plus hydrogen gas, with this specific example involving sulfuric acid, H2SO4, as the acid, and zinc as the reactive metal. But we will see many more examples of these reactions throughout our chemical studies. And once again, we will soon be readily able to identify that this particular reaction is an electron transfer redox reaction where one substance loses electrons by undergoing oxidation and another substance gains electrons by undergoing reduction. One of the most important types of double displacement or metathesis reactions are precipitation reactions where we see the formation of an insoluble salt resulting from the mixing of two aqueous solutions. A classic example of a precipitation reaction is the reaction of an aqueous silver nitrate solution with an aqueous sodium chloride solution to produce a solid silver chloride precipitate plus aqueous sodium nitrate. In effect, what happens here is the silver cation from the silver nitrate solution displaces the sodium cation from the sodium chloride solution to form the solid silver chloride which precipitates out of solution as an insoluble white salt. At the same time, the nitrate anion is displacing the chloride anion, resulting in the formation of an aqueous sodium nitrate solution. And so this double displacement or metathesis precipitation reaction actually involves an exchange or a swapping of cation and anion pairs between the two aqueous solutions. A pictorial representation of precipitation reactions is shown here, 
where we see the mixing of two aqueous solutions results in the formation of a solid salt precipitate, which generally slowly sinks to the bottom of its container, plus another compound, which in this case is shown dissolved in water as an aqueous solution sitting above the solid precipitate. Although in some rare circumstances, both products may actually precipitate out of solution as solids. As I said, we will look at these double displacement precipitation reactions in greater detail in upcoming videos. A final very important class of double displacement reactions are acid-base neutralization reactions. Here we see a chemical equation representing the reaction between an acid, hydrochloric acid, and a base, sodium hydroxide, to produce a sodium chloride salt solution and liquid water. Here, the hydrogen cation of the acid displaces the sodium cation of the base to produce liquid water. At the same time, the chloride anion from the acid displaces the hydroxide ion of the base to produce aqueous sodium chloride. As I said, this is a classic acid-base neutralization reaction where an acid plus a base will give you a salt of some kind plus liquid water. And again, we will look at acid-base neutralization reactions in much more detail in upcoming videos.